IATA is warning it's going to be a very slow recovery for the travel with passenger confidence sharply down, <coughs> excuse me, compounding issues, heightens safety concerns, of course, plus tight personal finances. 40% of people say they'll wait six months or more before flying again. Roger Dow is with me, the president and CEO of the U.S. Travel Association. He joins me from Florida. Roger, always good to have you, sir. You, you and I have talked these issues many times. And we're, sure. we're at the point of reality now that even as a slow open begins, even in states like Florida and Arizona, people don't want to travel. So what do you now need from central and state government? Uh, the most important thing, Richard, is that we have a uh, testing. We need lots of testing for employees and for people that we have an assurance uh, that the industry is doing something industry wide, that we have a common protocol so people can trust and the government speaking out that all these things are happening. All three, the industry, testing, medical and industry talk together. The intent to travel goes way up compared to just the industry saying it or just the government alone. Roger, would you agree that now is not the time to be reopening as the mayor of Las Vegas, which is one of the largest convention mice uh, uh, cities in the world, but the mayor wants it to be reopened now in all its extremities. Would you agree it's not the time? I think we've got to open the industry slowly, carefully and smartly. Uh, when I look at Las Vegas, uh, it's the greatest travel destination in the world but it's also one of the tightest in the world. So uh, I would want to see a few things open more slowly, uh, get some history and background that all is going well, and then keep opening more. I wouldn't open Las Vegas immediately all at once. I think that could be challenging. This could go for months, if not a couple of years. Delta says it'll be at least three to five years before their numbers get back to 2019 levels. And yet Michael O'Leary at Ryanair believes by summer 19, assuming there's some sort of vaccine, things will be heading back to, sorry, it's the summer 21, I beg your pardon, things will be back to levels of 2019. What's your economist telling you? What's your best guess to get back to normality? We're looking at uh, mid uh, next year. We uh, agree a little bit with the former. Uh, it all depends. The vaccine comes out tomorrow, which it won't. I just said, heard your last segment. Uh, then everything's going to come back. That's a big thing. I think you're going to see it come back regionally and locally, domestic, international, another six months, and uh, slowly come back. The more trust consumers have, I'm watching Germany very carefully and Sweden very carefully to see what's going on there as they're opening up. And the airline industry has received large amounts of money, a gargantuan amount of money, and some of the hotels did, and that's controversial. Do you think, I mean, from the small B&Bs, the inns, the small little uh, amusement parks and amusement uh, arcades, travel uh, uh, attractions, do you think many simply won't be able to come back? I think there's going to be a portion that will not come back. Hopefully, with what the government has been doing, most are going to be able to. We're trying to get the money out faster and more quickly. These people can't hang on for months. It's a matter of weeks for them. So we're hopeful they'll come back and come back soon. But the longer it goes, the more you're going to see that we'll not be able to come back. And in terms of a global <laughs> scale, uh, the UNWTO has put together some sort of plan and the WTTC has, has got its own plans in place. But there has been no overarching coordinated effort yet between governments or agencies. Do you think that will be helpful or just another bureaucratic mess that doesn't need, that we don't need at a time like this? Richard, I think it'll be helpful at the right time. Uh, right now, uh, I'm in touch with the WTTC every single week and I listen in to all the different countries. But right now, this is gonna be a domestic recovery. Uh, the United States, we're gonna be focusing very much on people that are gonna travel within the United States and it's gonna come later. So we got plenty of time for that to come together. Uh, I think everyone has to do their own share. We're in this together, and every government, every travel company has to do their thing together. The more we do together, but right now, I think to worry about whether we're going to go to Italy and Italy's going to come here, I'm not too worried about that for next month. 
Roger, you you travel uh, more than me, I suspect. Roger, what will it take for you to get on an aluminium tube and sit in it for eight hours? I think it'd be a assurance that the uh, virus has been come down and uh, has tailed off to a very minimal level. Uh, that I know that there's protocols in place to, for all the cleanliness possible from the person that might have been there before me and uh, that makes sure that I got upgraded to first class and had some great service and I'm on, on board. I'm going. <laughs> You're not going to get any of our viewers to ever believe that you ever fly anywhere but, behind, but in front of the curtain, Roger. You're so wrong, Richard. I'm always in the middle seat in the back and I, I just I love every minute of it. And please, God, you'll take a picture, because when you take a picture of you in the middle seat, I'll probably be sitting next to you. And the good thought is it'll mean that uh, aviation is open and, and, and doing business again and we're able to travel. Roger, it is good to talk to you, sir. Thank you very much indeed. Always a pleasure, Richard. Always a pleasure. Thank you.